Hi guys, and welcome back. In this tutorial, we're gonna be making our Pelican drop-down troops. Before I begin, I just wanna give a huge shout out to all my Patreons for all the support they've been giving me, and to Weaver900 for helping me figure this out. Now, on with the video. So, in a previous video, we've made our Pelican that flies over here and stops, and then flies off. Now, we're gonna make it so when it stops here, the hatch opens and some troops jump out. The first thing we want to do is go into our scenario, go to AI, squads, Pelican 1, firing teams, marine pilot, and click on starting points. So with this selected, let's just make four starting points by right clicking the game window. So we're going to want these to be marines that are going to jump out of the Pelican. So let's go up here to edit types and change object class to character. Now let's click add and go to your objects, characters. Let's go to marine, AI, and double click on marine.character and then select done. And you'll see here now it's been added to our list. And let's select all our new starting locations that we just placed. And then we're gonna change your character type to marine and we're going to make the initial weapon an assault rifle. And this is really important. We want to set the seat type here to passenger. So now that we have that set, let's also make sure we click on our main fire team, which is marine underscore pilot. And the normal difficulty count is set to five since we just added four more AI and we want them to spawn in. Now let's get into some scripting. So here I am in my folder, and we're just going to want to edit our actions.hsc, which is a script that we've created in a previous video. So just right click and do edit with notepad++. Cool. So now that we have that set up, let's put our notepad++ on the right side of the screen and our sapien on the left side, just like I do. So in our script here that we made in a previous video, the pelican flies to this location, which is a point that we've created, and we can view that point by going to script data, point sets, Pelican points and clicking on points. So it flies over here to point zero and then it turns around and faces this point which is called P1 face. Now what we want is for it to open up while it's facing this point here, P1 face, and drop out troops. Let's make a new line here right after we set the pelican to face that point. Now let's do an open bracket, unit, underscore open space open bracket AI underscore vehicle underscore get space AI underscore current underscore actor. And now let's do two close brackets and let's just save. So this line right here is gonna open up that hatch for the Pelican. Now, after we open that up, we wanna create a new line and do a open bracket and write sleep space 60 and a close bracket. So now that door is going to open and we're going to wait one second in game, which is 60 frames. So let's just see if that works by saving our notepad plus plus going over to our sapien and you want to make sure you click scenarios, run game scripts. And at the bottom left, it says game scripts enabled. Let's do file compile scripts, and now scenarios map reset. Cool, so we can see it opens up and we can actually see the AI in there that we had placed earlier. Now let's continue on with the scripting and make those AI jump out of there. So here, after we write sleep 60, let's make a new line and do an open bracket and let's write vehicle underscore unload. Let's do a space in an open bracket and write AI underscore vehicle underscore get space AI underscore current underscore actor. Now let's do a close bracket and a space and let's do a quote and let's write Pelican underscore P underscore L zero one and an end quote. And now let's end that off with a closing bracket. Now, just to explain what's going on here is we're using this command called vehicle unload 
and they're running it over the Pelican, which we're getting by using the AI vehicle get command and the AI current actor. And the seat we're unloading is called Pelican underscore P underscore L zero one. The way that I know these seat names is if we look in Gorilla, that under the seats for the vehicles, Pelican, Pelican.vehicle, there's a seat called Pelican underscore P underscore L zero one. And we can see there's a few of the seats here. And we know they're passenger seats because the type here under AI seat type is set to passenger. So what we're gonna to wanna to do is do the same code for every single seat here that's a passenger. So back to our script here, let's actually just copy this line where we did vehicle and load and make a new line below it and just paste it and change it from L01 to L02. Let's create a new line below that and write open bracket sleep space open bracket random underscore range space zero space 30 and now let's do two close brackets now what this command does here is the game is going to sleep for a random range between zero and 30 because those are the two parameters that we set so the reason we're doing this is just so it's not like all the troops jump out at once this is a little bit of kind of randomization and some time instead of you just seeing them all kind of jump. So let's copy these three lines now. The two vehicle unload ones and the sleep random one. So let's just copy those and click enter to create a new line and paste those in. Here what we're going to want to do is just change this from Pelican L01 to L03 and the one below that from L02 to L04. Again let's just copy that line and paste it down here we're going to want to change this one to L05. And again, if we remember in Gorilla here, L05 was the last one before they changed to R01 through 5. So what we're going to do in our script is set this one to R01. Copy that, click enter, and add that in. And now let's change that top one from, zero, from L05 to R02 and this bottom one from R01 to R03. And one last time, let's just copy that, click enter and paste it in here. Now let's set this from R02 to R04 and from R03 to R05. We can actually get rid of that last sleep random as well. So now let's save this and let's try and compile the script and see what happens. So let's go to our Sapien file compile scripts and we can see everything was successful. Now before we do a map reset let's just quickly make sure Pelican 1 has a team set to player. So set that to player and go to scenarios map reset. So you can see here Pelican comes in opens up and our marines jump down here they all have their assault rifles and they're fighting. There's a few issues we have here because right now they have no firing locations so they're not going to really move. The only reason they're moving now is because they're just getting hit and they're just kind of jumping around. So let's fix that and let's also make it so the door closes. After this last command where we unloaded the last troop, let's press enter and write open bracket sleep space 30 and do a close bracket and now what we're going to want to do is write open bracket unit underscore close space open bracket ai underscore vehicle underscore get space ai underscore current underscore actor and now let's just do two closing brackets so now this command here is going to close that door that the troops jump out of now the last thing we want them to do is we want these troops to move around and now what we're going to want to do is make these troops join the squad that follows us. That way they'll inherit all those points and zones that we've set up for the other squad and we won't really have to do anything. So let's add a new line in after we unload the last passenger and right before the sleep where we close the hatch. So let's do open bracket and write AI underscore migrate underscore infantry. Let's do a space, quote, 
And now this is going to be the name of our squad that the Pelican troops are in. So this squad is called Pelican 1. We can just copy that name from Sapien and just paste it right here in Notepad++. Let's do an end quote there and do a space. And now this second name here is going to be the squad of which we want this first squad that we named here to join. So our squad marines are the ones that follow us around. So I'm going to take the name here from Sapien, just copy that name and do an open quote. Just paste that in and a close quote and a closing bracket. Now let's save our Notepad++, go to File, Compile Scripts, and do a Scenario Map Reset. So we can see here the Pelican comes, turns around, the door opens up, the troops fall down, the door closes back up, and then it will fly off. Now we have it set to sleep for 300. We can probably change that. But we can notice here the squad here is following the ODST squad, and now we're all fighting together as one team. So that's it for this video. Before I go, I want to thank all my Patreons for supporting me, and to my legendary supporters SGT, Texas Ranger, and my gold supporters Hydra 09X. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.